How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Hey. Just... Hey. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the Blackwater to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's going to remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. See if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. That's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, we should keep it down. Let's go! Stay with them! You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on! Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed.
Look, they've stopped. Get your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Mm. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Stay here. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Right here, he's still reeling them in. Gentlemen, gentlemen, excuse me, dear brothers. My wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on, stay low. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, Mister. I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Found a new hat. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Is he alive still? Mm. We're gonna have to shoot our way up there! Just stay the hell back!
there. Get Sean. What are you doing, Arthur? Well, one of you was helping me out here. Arthur. You're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Uh, uh, do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it. I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all miss me a lot. But fear not, the joy is back in your lives now. One night when I was frisky. Dear Arthur. I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. 
I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He hey, said Arthur. when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Okay, boy. Let's go. Yeah. Tell the law on a boat 
they ever come out here? Where's the sport and shooting so in the cage? I ride with Colum O'Driscoll, you fool.
Yeah.